Hi, and welcome to Bees Gold Honey Farm. Uh, this video is just a continuation of our previous video on the inside the honeybee swarm. Uh, this image was taken a few minutes after the bees had swarmed and were hanging on the tree. And just looking at the entrance, I wouldn't have known that they had just swarmed. The activity looks normal. There is not too many bees, but they're bringing in pollen, they're flying normally. So that's why we need to do inspections every so often. They say every seven days or so. This image was taken uh, next day. I, again, there's a lot of activity in the landing board. Bees coming in, lots of them bringing in pollen, which means there is uh, brood being reared and all that. So again, that's why we need to do inspections and that's what we're gonna do now. Um, re removing the top cover and uh, the objective is to look for uh, queen cells being raised. So I know uh, they will have a viable queen uh, after she goes out for a mating flight and comes back. Normally they raise several uh, queen cells. Yeah, I'm smoking the entrance so they know I'm coming. and. Uh, helps calm them down them down remove the inner cover uh, this hive now has uh, one deep where the brood chamber is and on top there's two shallows and they're using the the um, intermediate shallow as a brood chamber as well unfortunately the stop the stop shallow super was empty there was not storing uh, well maybe there was a little bit of nectar in that uh, looking down the frames, I see a good number of bees on the super, and again, if I didn't know that they had swarmed, I wouldn't be suspecting until I completed the, the inspection. So I'm going to start to, uh, I'm going to remove this box now and start to do the inspection on the deep. Uh, here I'm looking uh, between the, the two boxes under the, the shallow frames, that's why we would see uh, the, the queen cells hanging if there was a swarm. I put it back and uh, started inspecting the frames. The first one is empty, there is nothing there, just the foundation. And uh, we, we slowly uh, separate the frames and uh, I remove them to take a look and see if we find uh, queen cells. Uh, queen cells, they look very much like peanut shells. It's amazing. That's why the, the why the title of the video. Why is this peanut shell in my in my hive? Um, the bees use uh, a young, very young larvae that they decide are going to become queens, and they feed them royal jelly, royal jelly, uh, and uh, they grow very quickly. And they elongate this uh, uh, the the normal cells, and uh, of course the queen is much bigger, so she gets a lot of food and. Uh, she grows very quickly. In 16 days, they go from uh, an egg to uh, a queen, while a normal worker takes uh, uh, 21 days. So here, uh, here is the swarm cells that I found on this shallow. There's two that are sh I'm showing here, and there, there were two also on the right side. And you can see they look very much like peanut shells. Actually, there's two together there. So this tells me that yes, this uh, 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 hive has swarmed. Uh, if I don't find the queen, which is the case here, right, it tells me that they, they did swarm. Uh, in the process, uh, I inspected the deep as well, and I found a series of other swarm cells down below. So I, I separated some frames, left them uh, uh, one or two uh, swarm cells. This is one that I removed from the deep, another a uh, set of uh, queen cells that were being uh, raised there. So I separated them and I started uh, uh, some small nukes, some very small colonies with uh, a frame of uh, brood with the swarm cell, some food and empty frames. And then the objective is to raise new queens. Uh, so I can either start new hives, make splits, uh, or requeen my hives. Well, that was it for today. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed and uh, subscribe. Thank you.